This EQ technique has worked really well for me and it's very easy. I'm going to show you today how to do it. First of all, I like to select the part in the song that is repeating and then within all the components are in it. So I can loop my song through it. Then I renamed my things here. So with F2, you can rename it. And then with Ctrl click, you can solo these out. So I only hear the 808 right now. Then I like to add the EQ2 from through the Paramatic. And then I'm going to hit the spacebar. I'm going to choose the preset from 20 to 18 kilohertz cut. And I'm going to drag these values until I hear no difference. And when I hear difference, I slightly drag back. And then I go control click to the kick and then I add EQ to right there. And that's basically it. And I continue to the next ones. And this is because the frequencies won't clash with each other. You can also visually see where it's going on. So see, where the noise really changes, I pull back until the sound is normal again. So I don't need these unwanted frequencies right there. Okay, control click to have them all again. Uh, for the hi hats, I like to up these a little bit with the console right here. And the same for my claps. What you can also do is after some effects, let's say for example, we have some effects on the clap, you can also add a new EQ. So let's say there are effects here. Let's solo this one out again. You can really boost the frequencies in here that you really like. So for example, like this. But I'm going to delete this for now. And this is a very easy way to EQ because you only have the frequencies that you like you can delete the other ones that you don't like and then the spectrum won't collide with each other.